What's up you guys, my name is Jesse and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be changing the rear differential fluid on my XGR6. The procedure is similar to a 1960 all the way up to a 1997 XJ6 also known as an X300. Changing the rear differential fluid is a must and you have to do it because I said so. And that should be enough for you to do it. Come on, I'm YouTube certified mechanic. Believe me, believe anything that's on the internet. So yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's get back to being serious. So changing the rear differential fluid is just as important as doing an oil change. And for the same reasons, oil gets worn out and old and contaminated, the additives wear out and metal to metal content wears out the surfaces. And sometimes people don't know and they're driving around with very low differential fluid because it has a minor leak where it just gets blown away by the wind or gets burned off before it touches the floor. So you're not realizing it and you're driving with contaminated low differential fluid and next thing you know your differential is going to start making noises or later fail and to prevent that from happening you have to watch this video you have to like this video you have to comment on this video you have to do the fluid change on your car you have to blow me a kiss you have to <laughs> all right we can stop there all right let's get to um changing the rear differential fluid Start by placing some wheel chucks in front of the tires for safety. Lift the vehicle up with a floor jack from underneath the center suspension cage and support it on jack stands. Make sure you can remove the fill plug first before draining the differential. I'm using a 5 inch half extension and ratchet to break loose the plug, but a 4 inch extension will have a better clearance. If the bolt is on tight, use a floor jack handle to slide it over the ratchet to give you more leverage. After breaking the fill plug loose, switch to a 3 inch extension to get the plug out. Now you can remove the drain plug that's located underneath the differential. Use a half extension and a wrench to loosen the drain plug. Another method would be to use a 12.15mm socket on the extension and use a ratchet. Use brake cleaner to clean the fill and drain plug from dirt and debris. The drain plug is magnetic and it picks up metal shavings from the differential. The Jaguar service manual specifies to use premium shell Super TS90, but don't worry about the original specs as it's now obsolete. Any good quality gear oil graded 7590 GL5 full synthetic will work great. The brand is your preference. And well, between me and you, I'll be using grade 75140. Pump the fluid into the differential. You'll know the differential is full when the fluid is spilling out of the fill hole. Two quarts of gear oil should be enough. While you're underneath here, you might as well grease up the U-joints. There are two on each side.
All right, you guys, if y'all found this video helpful, go buy your mama some flowers, hit that like button, tell me that I'm the best mechanic in the world. <laughs> nah, you're not obligated to do anything I say, but for sure, get your mama some flowers. Thank you, guys. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Late.